In today's video, we're gonna solve another horrendous NBT type question. And I'm basically gonna show you the entire process of how you solve this question from start to finish. So make sure you watch the entire video because it's a specific process that we use to solve questions like this. And understanding the full scope of the process will allow you to solve this question with ease. In case you wanna know who I am, my name is Tudo and I wrote the NBTs twice, getting distinctions for both the math and the English NBT and graduated from UCT with a degree in civil engineering. I'm also the founder of All Education, which is the most effective MBT preparation company in South Africa. We have MBT courses and resources on our website, so you can actually check out our MBT resources in the link below. And you can go ahead and also follow us on our other social platforms. We have a very popular TikTok page and we also have an Instagram page. And on top of that, we also have a free WhatsApp channel that you can actually join today to get weekly tips on how you can prepare well and master your MBT. So without further ado, let's actually dive into the question and start the videos. So Liz, and gentlemen, we're about to start this horrendous question. Let's actually look at it and actually solve it. As you can see, I have the question right here on my iPad. So we're going to be working through it together. So let's actually do this question right now. Of course, this is a question that not a lot of people have ever seen before. It's a very, you know, very weird looking question. But in the MBTs, they typically ask questions like this. So this question by itself is actually not from an MBT. But one of our students who was part of our NBT course two years ago actually mentioned that she saw a question like this in her NBT because obviously each NBT exam is different that depending on the date that you write the exam. So she saw this in her NBT or it was a question similar to this. It had a similar thing where it had like the XXXX thing. Um, but then we just modified it so that we could sort of make the question a bit different because obviously we can't actually share NBT questions because the NBT is very stingy when it comes to that. It is illegal. It's against their policy to share their questions. So uh, this is what this is what we're doing here. So we just re-engineering questions just to give you a good glimpse of NBT type questions, right? So the first thing that you're gonna do when you solve this question right here, right, is the first thing you wanna do is, obviously you have three times X to the power of 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 X, blah, 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 going on infinitely, right? So you have an infinite loop of X exponents, right? That's pretty much what you have there, right? So what you wanna do is you want, you want to obviously get the X's and keep them on one side and get all the other numbers to the other side, right? So basically the first step that anyone will do here is pretty much to basically divide both sides by three, right? So therefore it's gonna be, um, in that case, uh, x to the power of x to the power of x to the power of x, all of that equals to five over three, right? Basically, we just divided both sides by three, right? Pretty simple, pretty easy stuff, right? So here, this is where the real tricky part comes in. Like, how do we do this? Some people think we need to use logs, you know, some cases we, some people need to do whatever, whatever. But in this case, what you can simply just do, right, is when you look at this question, what's interesting is that it says here that x to the power of x to the power of x to the power of x, like basically that infinite loop of x exponents is equal to five over three, right? That's the key thing to keep in mind, right? It's equal to five over three. Because remember this this x exponent loop is, is, is in, it's infinite, meaning it's continuing infinitely. So what's interesting is that's what it is, right? So this infinite loop of x exponents is equal to five over three. But then what's also interesting, right, is that, let me just remove this right here this over here right let's look at the exponent of this of this big x right here let's look at the exponent that is also an infinite loop of exponents when you think about it right because it's x to the power of x to the power of x to the power of x again right and what do we already know we already know that x to the power of 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 x infinitely is equal to 5 over 3 am i right right because we know that x to the power of x infinitely is equal to 5 over 3 so it means that the exponent right here of this is also equal to five over three because it's another infinite loop of x exponents, right? So in that case, we could then just say x, sorry, let me actually change that right there. x to the power of five over three is equal to five over three, right? Because remember this is basically equal to that, right? Because we know that in the original equation, right? Or in the original expression that is true that that's pretty much what we've been given right so because of that we can simply just solve it like we would typically solve a typical exponential example right and obviously the goal is to solve for x we want to get x alone right we don't want x to the power five or three we want to get x by itself so what we're going to do is that we're going to be like all right we're going to say um, x to the power five or three and for those of you who know your exponent laws big brain moment what you're going to do is basically just multiply the exponent by five uh three over five same thing over here. So this is going to be five over three. Remember what you do on the one side, you do on the other side. So therefore this is going to be to the power of three over five, right? And hence, and therefore, hence, thus, you know, uh, basically what you're going to do here is that you're basically going to just, obviously it's going to cancel out. So that just becomes X. And then X is basically equal to five over three. 
to the power of three over five, right? But then now we now need to simplify it in cert expression, right? Or at least simplify it in cert form. So what we can simply do, I'm just gonna move this a little bit down right here. You can basically just move it down and therefore it becomes X equals to, and you know your exponent laws. What we know about exponents, right, is that if you have, um, let's say a number A to the power of B over C, that's basically gonna be equal to the C root of A to the power of B. Right. I hate it. I hate saying it like that, but you pretty much get the idea, right? So therefore, it's going to be uh, 5 over 3. So that's going to be the fifth root of 5 over 3 all cubed. Remember that. Remember that big brain moment, right? And therefore, once you simplify it further, right, this just becomes the fifth root of 5 cubed because the exponent, you can multiply it in. So therefore, 5 cubed over 3 cubed, which basically will therefore equal to x therefore equals to 5, the fifth root of 5 cubed, which is 125, over 27, because 3 cubed is 27, right? So pretty much that is your final answer. So that is pretty insane by itself. Absolutely horrendous MBT type question. But once you, once you actually see the process and once you actually like look at the entire process and how you solve it, it becomes so much easier, right? So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I really hope you learned a lot in terms of solving these horrible MBT type questions. And the reason why we wanted to make this video is to ensure that you at least have some very good overview of typical MBT type questions. Go ahead and check out our channel. We have a lot of MBT tips. We have MBT type questions on our channel. So go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you really enjoyed it. Share it with a friend, share it with a person that you know may benefit from this. And also do check out our MBT prep courses. You know, we have thousands of questions in our courses because obviously the key thing with the MBTs is that the MBTs are very different than your typical IEB slash NSC exams. So if you think that you're going to do well in your MBT just by practicing typical IEB or NSC past papers, you're not really going to do that well because remember MBT questions are so unique and so different as you can see with this one right here. So if you want access to all those questions, go ahead and check out our course linked below and also do check out some of our other social channels such as TikTok and also join our free WhatsApp group for those MBT tips. And uh, yeah, so our goal is to make sure that you do super well in your MBTs because I don't know if you know, only 6% of people that actually apply to UCT, Stellenbosch, Vitz actually get accepted. And we want you to be part of that 6%. So make sure that you do the best you can in your MBTs. Definitely check out our prep course and all of our resources as well as our social channels. And I will see you in the next video.